Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to an episode of career mode now this episode is a little bit special There's something a bit different in it, but you guys will find out as you watch the video But first things first, you know We got a transfer offer in for one of our young strikers Adam Morgan and that's from Barcelona Barcelona have been looking at tons of my players recently. They picked up uh, Coutinho for around 52 million earlier on um, they also have um, Placed a bid for Ulrich. I counter offered that for around 5.5 2 million I want to say and now they're after a young striker called uh, Adam Morgan and obviously he's got to be pretty special if um, Barcelona are chasing after him so you know they are definitely on our tails they're liking the players we're sort of producing at the moment Gundogan unfortunately just isn't willing to move very easily at the moment he's enjoying where he lives at the moment over in Germany so it, it would take a lot of money and a really good squad role for him to move over so I was a little bit hesitant when trying to offer him a new contract and things like that and I just had to really keep my eyes open but um Barcelona say they're gonna match the all right bid it's actually 5.7 million my apologies but the big one today guys is Muriel had accepted our 50,000 a week four-year deal and if you guys remember I signed Muriel back in uh, back in my QPR series and I actually asked one of uh, one of my subscribers to go ahead and make a tribute video of all the v goals that he had scored back at QPR so now you guys are gonna see just a, f a, s a few small snippets of his tribute video so I hope you guys can enjoy it and I'll see you guys in a minute So as you guys can see from that, that was a really cool tribute video made from one of my subscribers. I actually just picked out a few of the goals from it, so that's why, you know, the editing doesn't necessarily flow so well together. But he made a 15-minute tribute video. I think, I'm, I think I might be right in saying it has all the goals I've scored with him. So that link will be in the description if you're interested in checking out the full video. But as you can see, Muriel was such a god back then. You know, he was really good. I signed him for $14.5 to QPR. And, uh, you know, let's hope he can do very much the same i signed him for around 15 million marker again so not too much change in his price although it is two years later on he's now 23 whereas back uh, at qpr when i signed him he was only 21 years old i think so hopefully he still develops just as well and we can expect a fantastic um you know sort of future with him and let's see if he can replicate how well he did at qpr so spain actually go ahead and win the world cup can't say i'm surprised by that um you know spain are just such a quality side they have so many great players but i was really chasing this gundogan player and like I said in the last episode I actually look at, took a look at his stats and his marking and his sort of slide tackle standing tackles they were all pretty low rated you know they weren't that impressive and I was actually looking for a defensive midfield player so that's why when I saw his stats I really wasn't that happy with them if I'm perfectly honest with you um, a few of them I was just a little bit let down he didn't seem like the right player I was looking for like I had previously um, you know say sort of taken a look at there are a few regen players sorting uh, creeping into the uh, career mode system right now Regen players are always kind of exciting. Sometimes they can be extremely unrealistic, but at times I'm always really excited by them because it really mixes up career mode. And, you know, you always find these, I want to say, hidden gems, players that no one has ever heard of, obviously, because they're regens, and they're just amazing. So, you know, if we do find any of those, then I'm definitely going to jump a ship with those guys. But here we have Paul Pogba. Now, I actually sent off an offer for Paul Pogba for around $14 million. I didn't expect that to get accepted whatsoever just because... 
Um, Pogba is actually a really good young player, and uh, he can develop really well, but I had him back at QPR, and I found he was so, so injury prone. Another defensive mid was Xavi Martinez. Now, he is one of the best in his position, and they were looking for around 11 to 14 million for him, and uh, Xavi Martinez is such a great defensive midfielder, and uh, Sunderland actually decided to match and go ahead with the Shelby bid, so it looks like Shelby could be on his way out. Unfortunately, Bayern Munich wants a little bit more money for their star man, Xavi Martinez, and I completely understand that. So um, I also have Mbia, who is in fact a uh, Mbia, sorry, who is in fact a uh, defensive mid right now, and he's also 85 rated. But I really feel as though he's slowing down in a sense, um, in the sense he's not growing that much anymore. So I wanted to sign Javi Martinez just to kind of make sure that we always have players who are growing and progressing. Uh, Jovetic there, 89 rated. Sturridge already gone up to an 88 rated player. That is just fantastic. Wisdom, eight, 78. Sorry, he has come on so very well. Barini now 81. Steven Gerrard, it is painful to see him go down like that, but it's just inevitable. As time goes on and as players age, they will ev inevitably lose a bit of, uh, you know, uh, I want to say talent, I suppose. They will always lose a bit of skill and uh, their final touch. Agar, still 85 rated, which I'm happy about. Walker, an 83 rated right back, which is just magnificent. But the team is looking strong, and we have some preseason games coming up. Uh, we have a few against um, uh, one of the uh, Bundesliga sides, and then we have another one that I'm not entirely sure uh, what sort of league the other team is from but uh, you guys will see when it comes up and always with the sort of preseason games I like to try out new things um the reason why I have Jovetic playing cam is because obviously we bought a mural and I have been desperate to try Jovetic at this cam position we've been talking about it for a while now I really can't wait to try it out um Sterling actually gets an early goal um, I decided to play Massey because it is a preseason, um, and obviously the results don't matter, and I want to get the players who have the most potential to grow to be playing in these games. So that's why, you know, Sturridge, uh, Muriel, both of them, they can grow so, so well. Same with Jovetic. You know, all of those players on right now have a good potential to grow, so that's why I'm playing them now. You guys might be wondering, Cal, this is when you should be playing the players who won't get much game time throughout the season. I want to say yes to that, but it's also very valuable time to get, I want to say, easy games to rank up your players, and as silly as that might sound, Sound. Um, it's actually a thing that I've been doing for a while. You know, I'll play players that I really want to have. Uh, it's, it's almost like free games of growth. I know it may not make a lot of sense, but in my head, that makes sense. Maybe not to you guys, but hopefully you guys are on the similar sort of wavelength to me. And uh, it was actually uh, Yavi Martinez's bid was accepted, but it was down to contract offers. If you guys remember, Gundogan, who played for Borussia Dortmund, really wasn't interested in coming over to the Premier League or uh, more specifically over to Liverpool. So it would be interesting to see how someone like Javi Martinez would do because because he is happy at Bayern Munich, and I was a little bit skeptical when it came down to the contract offers, because um, if he did, you know, if I did get to this sort of stage, he would certainly ask for a lot of money. Now, uh, Lazio actually offered for Asaidi. Asaidi has been such a wonderful left winger. He's really been such a goal threat for the team, so for that reason, I have to, you know, I have to really put a high price tag on him, because he has been such a valuable asset to the team. Yeah, he, he was very injured towards the end of the tailing off to the end of last season, so um, I was a little bit nervous that that might carry on through this season but I can only hope that he won't be nearly as 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 much injured as he was last season but we had one last game and it actually ended up being nil nil in a um in a game where Jovetic got sent off. But guys, that'll wrap it up for today's episode. If you could leave a like for that really nice tribute video that a fan made. And obviously you can check out his video in the description. But I'd really appreciate it if you could just drop any sort of support on this video. As always, very much appreciate it. Hope you all have a cracking day. Follow me on Twitter. Um, follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Facebook. Follow me on all of that shenanigans. Because it's just a rave and a party on there. Until then guys, I'm off to go have myself some noodles. And then I'm probably going to go and grab myself some shopping. I'm going to go shopping and food shopping but until then i'll catch you guys in a bit bye bye